Hey guys, it's XCC and welcome to episode 45 of my Let's Play. And in this video, I'm going to be continuing what I left off last time. And as you can see, it's uh, the peat bog here has, uh, has finished clearing out the area around it and is starting to build the peat bog. And this water was placed automatically. And so it's the peat, as you can see, or the bog earth. And there we go. And it's quickly running out. So I'm going to have to keep this guy supplied with that stuff. And so yeah, I'm going to get to that this episode. And just for those of you who wanted to see, this is how it works. It just automatically, excuse me, it automatically plants the farm around it for you. Provided that it has power, of course. That's all cool. This guy is uh, about halfway through its coal. I am going to quickly run home. Even though it's over there, I'm just gonna. Where's a good spot? Maybe here. Run around through this portal. And let's get started. First, I'm going to need. I think it's called. No, it's called a. Rain. Water tank. Awesome. Let's see. Here's what we need, sturdy machine, okay, got it, let's quickly um, grab a sturdy machine from here and all the other components we need, we need some glass, we need 6 iron, and a sturdy machine which is on the next page I believe, yep, don't need 6 of them, just need 1, and let's see, uh, not two glass, and I've got a rain tank. And now I'm not going to use this rain tank for the purpose of um, collecting rain from it. I'm actually going to fill this manually to quicken up the process. But a rain tank, I'm not going to place it here. Um, ooh, oh, that's right, I made that hole. Patch it up. Um, rain tank is capable of filling up water cans with um, water. And if you don't remember last episode, you can use water cans to make bog earth. Well, you need it. Um, water buckets are harder to deal with, and water cans get you more bog earth anyway, so you might as well use that. And don't worry about these capsules, I don't have them yet. Oh, water cell. You know what? Um, I might actually go for industrial craft water cells. Sorry, rain tank, I'll have to find another use for that later, but I've actually never used an industrial craft rain, not rain tank, but that pump it's got. I've never used it before, so I want to try using that. Let's see, pump. And machine block. And mining pipe, how do you make that? Ooh, okay. That's new. As you can tell, I've never made it before. So, I need a six of these. I needed an electronic circuit. I need one of those. Also need a machine block. Don't need six of those. Did I get six tree taps? Oh okay, don't worry. Got one of them, which is what I had, which is fine. Where's the tree tap? I only need one. He didn't even give me one. Okay. There we go. So I'm going to make my mining pipes. Um, what's a tree tap? Oh, it was used. Oh, looks like I'm going to have to craft a new one then. I don't think you can use a used one for this recipe. But let's see, eight mining pipes. Let's see a pump. Don't have the components yet. Um, if you don't know, this is how you make. Uh, cells from industrial craft empty cell and as you can see four pieces of tin gives you 16 that's quite a lot actually and do I have all the components I do oh I got myself six electronic circuits didn't need six but uh, oh well all right let's use this fancy feature that it's got thanks to NEI Oh, I need another. Yeah. My bad. Looks like I needed two of these guys. 
That's all right. I remember the recipe. These five can go in here. But I'll find a use for it later. And I do have some spare solar panels, so I might as well use this as, uh, to do that. I've got some cables on me. No. What happened to my cables that I had last time? I had 18 of them last time, and I kind of used them all. My cables are disappearing. Don't know where to. Right, that'll do for now. That's a good spot to do this. Well, I'm gonna spot us any. Oh, I'll chuck it right there. Is that a really good idea, actually? I don't think that's actually a very good idea. It's just lazy. Alright. I'll make... Hmm. I know. I got an idea. Alright. Check this out. I'm gonna first of all need... Oh, whoops. I'm gonna need two more crafting logistics pipes. And... That's gonna require two of these. And my inventory is very full. That's also a problem. Let me fix that real quick by dumping some of these unnecessary materials in here. Uh, that should be fine. Alright, I need glowstone, and I'm going to have to go to the nether soon. Because I need a few things from the nether. And I need more glowstone, that's the main thing. But a few other things too. Oh, I needed more glowstone. My bad. And I also need to... Actually, I only need one automatic crafting table. Yeah, that's right. It's a little different. And basically, the one that I'll be using is to craft cells. And I just realized that those solar panels will do me no good on the ground. So I am... going to have to contemplate how to fix this issue. Basically, first of all, I'm just going to add my cells to the system. That's nice and easy. I'm just wondering, what is that? Tin nuggets. Hmm. Not sure what those are used for. But let's add this and remember to. Oh, whoops. That's not good. Not safe. Let's uh, not have that in my hotbar. Okay, that's that sorted. Next, I'm going to have to somehow connect to this network here using pipes of some sort. Hopefully without having to waste too many basic logistics pipes and whatnot. Um, okay, I'm going to go to sleep quickly first. And I'll be right back. Okay, start of a new day, and I shall see if I can hook this up. Alright, let's see, is there any sky out here? Mm, just off there. This may be a long journey outside. In fact, it be closer to just go underneath. Yeah, I think so. Mm, just hold on a moment, let me think about something. Okay, I think I've figured out what I want to do, and just a few, look at that, it just looks awesome. I just ran through a few pieces of iron ore up there, that's why. But, here's how it's going to work, I'm going to grab my transport pipes, and hook it up to this logistics pipe over here. And, that's going to go underneath, hopefully it won't cause any problems. And, come back up, oops. And it's going to head outside. Made a hole here. And it's a mess outside, it's alright. And... I think... I'm going to make it come up. And... 
this is going to become a crafting logistics pipe. And I'm going to place the pump over here. And make an infinite water spring below it. Let's refill my own thing. And I'm going to hook this copper cable right up to this one so that it can easily receive power. Uh, let's go above. Right, so, wow. You can hear it. That's awesome, but at least you know that it's working. And how this is going to work is now basically how this crafting pipe works is it tells um, you tell it how what to input into whatever block it's attached to in this case the pump and what it should receive as an output so you don't have to use these with uh, crafting tables you can hook it up to a machine such as this and basically all you have to tell it is to insert a cell into there an empty cell and you'll get out a water cell because that's how this works you put in an empty cell and you'll get water cell back out. So he knows how to craft empty cells from downstairs and I'm just gonna quickly craft it. You know what? Let's, uh, let's test our system. See if we can find those cells. Sixteen, that's how much you'll get from four tin. There we go. Oh, I've got twenty-five. Alright. Get one of those. Alright, cool. And I'm just going to make sure this pump works. So first, I'm going to tell it that if you give it one cell, it's going to give you a water cell. I think. Is it working? It's going to give a water cell back out. Nope. Oh, it did. Oh no, but it pops it out. Ah. Don't know if that'll work. I'll just test it. So let's get rid of it's nine. So we'll force it to craft one. Successful. See I should see something come along here. Yep. And oh, it pops it out. That's going to be a problem. Alright, well, I guess it's time to make use of... Hmm. How to do this? Well, it will accept items into a chest, I know that. I'm going to have to use a satellite ID thing. Alright. How do I craft a satellite pipe? Is there such a thing? I think there is. Yes, there is. Alright, let's see. Oh. Have, oh, wow, I have been give myself stuff. Okay, let's get rid of those. I didn't have that many. And let's get out of that. Okay, did not realize I had that on. I was testing something in another world. Rest assured, I wasn't cheating in this world. Um, Okay, what did I need? I needed another logistics pipe, which I have in here, provider, there we go, basic, and let's have a look, how to make a satellite, oops, there we go, redstone, easy, in fact I've got some right here, so let's do that. And we've got a cell, our cells, a satellite logistics pipe. And this hole is starting to annoy me. Awesome. Okay, basically how this works is um, I'm going to hook this crafting pipe into a chest. And you might be wondering, how does that work? Um, how do I hook it up to a chest? Right, will that work? Yep, cool. And basically, what this satellite means is, um, I'm going to collect the satellite pipe into here. And connect it by using standard pipes. 
And basically how this satellite works is you give it an ID. I'm going to set it to 1. And in here you'll see this. these three squares are reserved for the satellite pipe. And as you can see, um, you can choose ID. The only one that's connected is 1. So I'm going to do that. Uh, I don't know what paint does, I'm not sure. But basically what it will do is any slots in the satellite pipe um, will go around the satellite pipe. So what this is telling the pipe is um, if you input one cell, which I don't have right here. Let's grab a cell real quick. Oh, before it gets too dark. Spare cell, alright. What I'm, go I'm telling this pipe is, if you input one cell, you'll get out a water cell. But it's connected to the chest, so it's going to take out the output from this chest. But because this input here is in the satellite, it's going to go around and into here. So let's test this quickly. I've never done this before, so I'm really hoping it works. Okay, let's request... One, one's enough. Enough to make sure it works. Let's have a look. Awesome. Look at that. Did you see that? There it is. Wow. That's amazing. So it works. Awesome. Now we can finally go to sleep. And we can finally hook up that automatic supply system for our peat bog. And from now on, I'll be able to use water cells in my crafting tables as well. Okay, so that's settled. Don't need to do anything out there anymore, I don't think. And I didn't even need these solar panels. I can save them for another use. Let's see, let's chuck them in here. And yeah, that's cool. Awesome. So now I'm going to cover this up, cover this back up, I should say. It's good to know that it works. Awesome. Okay, that's done. Now, I'm going to use, I think, another crafting pipe first. Yeah, I really need to go to the nether. I might do that next episode. And I'm going to give myself another crafting pipe. Not that. And... I'm going to get myself an automatic crafting table. Okay, cool. And I'm going to head downstairs. I know the drill. Just add it to this uh, big thing here. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I accidentally cut the recording there, but as I was saying, I'm just going to add this. Oops. Not there, but over here. And I was going to tell how to make peat bog. No, sorry, bog earth. And. I'm going to head back and give myself a bit of oops, long chest. some sand, I think I only need four, and dirt, uh, and a water cell, oh lag, oh, it's resupply from there, okay, I need some water cells, or well, just one actually, and just tell it how to craft the bog earth. There we go. Now it knows and I'm going to automatically keep that peat bog out there supplied. How I'm going to do that is going to require two more teleport pipes which is a pain. They're expensive I know but it's all for automation so I don't have to do it manually all the time. And in fact I don't need to hook it up to here if I'm running out of space. 
and just directly hook it up to the system downstairs because that's connected to the chests up here so it doesn't matter too much and I'm gonna call this frequency add as um, bog earth supply add that's cool having those uh being able to name it so much easier to keep track of all your frequencies that you've used really happy about that feature no creepers creeping cool okay and this guy's stopped here remember because he's run out of power and you see this dark stuff that means um peat has been produced in that block and when this does receive power which it's not at the moment um it will harvest peat for me but Let's see, how do I want to do this? Oh, I've got a piece of peat. Awesome. And since that I have now, I am going to, very quickly, because we're running out of time, as always, I'm going to go back and make myself a peat-fired engine. Which is all copper. Now I haven't made cop added copper gears to that system, so I have to do that manually. But I need a st I can grab myself a stone gear and do that. I need some copper. You know, I'll just grab the lot. And I need a piston. So luckily I've added that to the system as well. And I need a stone gear. Okay, I think I've got everything. Wait, before I do that, make this a copper gear. Oh, I needed glass as well. I think I just needed one. And my inventory is way too full. Oh, I needed two copper gears, my bad. Oh dear. Let's get rid of that for now. Oh, wow, what a mess. I need to make my other copper gear first. Put them next to the piston. Looks like that, I believe. There we go, P5 engine. And somehow I still have enough space in my inventory to pick up everything, which is weird. I could use a portal, but I'm going to use this peat fired engine. And I think it needs to warm up. And it needs peat as well. So I've got my one piece of peat here, which is a, not much, but it will produce ash as a byproduct. Do you know? Wait, let's see. Use untreated peat. Oh. That's right, you can. Oh, you see that? It's being, um, harvested and it turns into dirt and once this guy has more enough bog earth it's going to pick up the dirt and replace it with bog earth so they will grow again so it's all automated by these two machines and all the output is going into this chest which is awesome so what I'm going to do is actually use the peat to keep this system fired um, peat lasts for a lot longer than a piece of coal inside a steam engine so it's perfect for the a job like this, something that requires low power and that you don't want to keep on maintaining all the time, so that's perfect. Now I'm also going to need a supply pipe, and I don't think I've used those before in this series, so I'm going to very quickly cover it, and then, yeah, we need lapis. Let's see, yes, I still have some basic logistics pipes left. I guess I have to. Wow. Too full. Let's get rid of half this stuff. Oh, whatever. Two lapis. That's enough. Okay, so I should add um, an automatic system to pull all the peat back into there, but I'm not going to worry about that too soon. It's fine as it is right now. But what I am going to do though, is I want to keep this box here supplied with peat. 
and as you can see items to keep stocked and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly request some bog earth for myself I can find it quickly did I not press import? I think I didn't press import yeah I didn't alright now I'll have bog earth somewhere in there and what do you know, there it is eight and while that's crafting I'm going to quickly go to sleep so we're just about at thirty minutes okay I'm going to run back and there's our bog earth just sitting there for us and how this this system works, as I'm sure if you haven't already figured out it's going to be supplied, it's going to keep this um, block here supplied with this stuff partial requests, that's fine um, and I'm going to hook up teleport pipe to it that's how it's going to bug a supply awesome so it's going to keep this guy supplied, it's going to send a request Oh, see, false true that one down there is not really... wow it's really bad lead me straight down there true awesome now it should work Am I correct? yep so it's going to send a request back through the teleport pipe over there to request some bog earth and it's going to craft it up and send it into here hopefully hopefully still waiting, it's probably because it's waiting for the water cells just going to quickly head back to see if it's doing its thing it's not really doing its thing which has gotten me worried Give me a moment while I figure out what's wrong. Okay, so I think it is working. Yeah, it is. It's just really slow. It took its time. But it is, thankfully. And as you can see, new peat bog, well, bog earth is being placed. And hopefully, once it finishes the farm, it's going to um, start replacing those dirt blocks so they can reproduce again. Well, produce peat again. As you can see, I've already got 15 peat, that's not bad. And this guy is doing just fine. It's only used one piece of peat throughout the whole time. So I'm going to end this episode here with quite a decent amount of work done in this episode. This guy is finally able to, I guess, in a way, finish off itself. And it's not using... Yes, it is. Okay, it's just really slow. But, um, yeah, that's all cool. This guy's sorted. We've got that system going, which is pretty cool. So next episode, I'm probably going to head to the nether because I'm a little short on um, glowstone and some other materials. And I do want to look for a fortress, a nether fortress. So yeah, that's probably what's going to be on next episode. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and see you guys next time.